only about having the repairs done properly. Janine Musser is spending the day at the State House, waiting for her chance to tell the Senate Housing Committee about her bad experience with the way her home was built. There was actually shoddy work done across the board. So my home was impacted. The drainage issues around my home and the back and on one side really was horrible. Getting builders to fix the issues wasn't easy. It had taken so long to go through the process that the money, the cost of living had gone up substantially. She's not alone. Um, Jonathan yeah, Harris spent oh, 10 years fighting to get a resolution from builders when issues arose at his condo's complex. Whenever it would rain, the water would come in and, and uh, down the walls. They're advocating was, uh, for a bill like a that would better protect homeowners from construction defects. For example, it would prevent HOAs and purchase agreements from containing waivers or limitations of rights. And it would ensure builders have to cover interest on repair costs. Harris says these are common sense changes. That's why I feel that strongly that somebody needs to stand up. It's too late for, for me, but somebody needs to stand up and protect homeowners. Not everyone agrees. Insurance providers like Kelly Campbell testified it's already hard to insure builders and contractors in Colorado. She says this bill would make it worse. House Bill 1230 will negatively impact the ability of construction professionals to obtain and afford insurance coverage for multifamily affordable housing, expanding litigation to address construction defects rather than focusing on ways to address the defects directly will impact consumers for years down the road. Janine hopes lawmakers realize this is needed to make sure homeowners aren't on the hook for paying shoddy construction work. It will allow us homeowners and HOAs to make us whole again. In other words, our damages will be repaired. About 30 minutes ago, the committee voted four to three, advancing the bill forward. It now heads to the Senate floor. Rachel Krause, Nine News.